Hi guys, so this video is actually a special subscriber request video. Somebody asked me to make a video explaining how I juggle being a single mother who works full time. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm actually not a confident mother. I look at some of my friends and they just intuitively know what to do and say around their children all the time. And I look at them with absolute admiration and respect and inspiration. But at the end of the day, I try and do the best job that I possibly can do. And I hope that Rocco, when he grows up one day, has very happy memories of him and I together. But regardless, here are my top five tips for juggling motherhood in a modern world. Number one is exercise. I try and hit the gym between two to four times a week. And I try and go in my lunch break so that it doesn't eat into my time at work. Now, sometimes I've got a really busy week. I've got back to back client meetings and important deadlines. So it may mean my workout is simply 20 minutes, but that doesn't matter. That's good enough. As long as I get my heart rate pumping, work up a bit of a sweat, that means I get to move and get rid of all that nasty, toxic, frustrating energy around me that's draining me. When I leave the gym, I feel that much better and it gives me enough energy to power through the rest of the day. Tip number two is value your friendships. Often I say my girlfriends are my oxygen. I couldn't live without them. And the one key thing about my girlfriends is we don't put up a wall of pretense. We don't pretend we're living this fake, happy life. If something's wrong, we need an idea, we need a solution, we need a fresh perspective on something that we're struggling with, we're open and honest and we share that with them. Now by doing that, you're able to bond with that person and they may have gone through a similar situation and may have a fantastic idea or solution that's going to help you not only get out of that problem but maybe also heal and also experience some personal growth and insight from that situation friendships the connections to the people around us are so important and i know when i have particular problems that i'm struggling with in motherhood when i reach out to another mother i feel that they really get me they really understand what i'm struggling with the frustration or the sadness or the disappointment that i'm experiencing and they help me push through and grow through that pain and become stronger and wiser tip number three is quality over quantity we are all really busy. We are juggling work. We are juggling financial stress and commitments. We're juggling family. We're juggling trying to be healthy and happy and social. It's really hard in a modern day. But when you are spending time with your children, make sure that you give them your undivided attention. That is what counts. Switch off the mobile phone, turn the TV off, do something with them where you can absolutely be completely present and immerse yourselves in them and really spend that time getting to know that special little soul in your life as much as you possibly can. Get to really connect through understanding them on a deep level. By investing in quality time with your children, when there are moments where you do have to go to work or you have to work late because you've got a deadline or you have to go overseas for a work trip, the guilt isn't quite as bad and you feel a little bit more confident in yourself that you're doing a good job as a parent. Tip number four is try and do something purely for yourself. It is okay to be selfish once in a while because when you do something for yourself, you refill your own glass and you can then be the best mother you can be. You can be the best partner you can be. You can be the best sister, the best daughter, the best neighbor. It doesn't matter. When you stop and take something for yourself, you really re-energize yourself and reconnect and build that strength up again so you can get through the day. Now that might be something simple as taking a long bath, going and sitting in a cafe, getting a coffee and reading a trashy magazine, or going and seeing a movie by yourself, or as I like to say, the power of pedicure. It doesn't matter, whatever it is for you, make sure as much as you can, try and take a little bit of time purely for yourself. Now I know for some people who are working long hours, that is incredibly hard, but maybe just set the alarm clock for 15 minutes earlier in the morning or try and take a little longer lunch break, or maybe stay up a little bit later if you need to. It doesn't matter as long as you can do something purely self-indulgent for yourself. And that advice actually came from my personal GP. My fifth and final tip is actually probably my favorite and most helpful, and that is check your attitude. Often in motherhood, it's quite easy, and I know and I'm gonna be completely honest, to be a little bit resentful. 
you're constantly giving, you're constantly tidying up, you're constantly cleaning, you're constantly taking kids here and there, dressing them, bathing them, doing their laundry, trying to get them to eat the right food, making sure that they're reading the right books, getting the right amount of stimulation, socialization, it's exhausting. But when you do things, you need to kind of bring it back to yourself. I'm gonna share with you a personal example. Rocco is an incredibly messy person and also a hoarder, which is completely opposite to me. He will bring all sorts of weird and wonderful things and insists on keeping them. And I will finally clean up the house, turn around to just discover Rocco has pulled everything out again, broken it up into a hundred pieces and scattered it all over the floor. And me in that situation, it's very easy for me to get frustrated, angry and annoyed. But what I try and do is stop and check my attitude and think about when I'm tidying up, how does this make me feel? How am I gonna feel when the house is nice and clean and tidy? And I realize I'm not cleaning the house for him, I'm cleaning the house for myself. And for me, when that house is nice and clean and tidy, I feel calm, I feel tranquil, I feel organized and I feel in control again. So when I am cleaning up, I try not to take it, make it about other people and feel, I guess, a bit begrudged or frustrated um, or, you know, poor middle me cleaning up the house all by myself. I focus about the benefits it's gonna give me. And that means when I do clean the house up, I don't really mind. I don't find it as a task or a chore anymore because I know I'm doing it purely for me and it's gonna make me feel good. And it's a similar attitude that I take when I go to exercise. Yes, it's not fun having to schlep my way up to the gym, change my clothes again, take my makeup off. Um, but I know that when I have hit the gym, I'm gonna feel good about myself. I'm gonna feel proud, I'm gonna feel strong, and I'm gonna feel healthy. So I think so much of juggling motherhood comes down to having a really healthy, strong, grounded attitude. So if you're a busy working mother, I hope this video has a couple of helpful tips that just might help make your days run by that little bit more smoothly and put a bit of a better spring in your step as we go off to work every day and try and juggle it all. It is hard, but it is all worth it. Anyway, I hope you're having a great week. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. And next week, I've got another capsule wardrobe video coming up just for you.